And here in Singapore, more than 180 schools have joined a program which progressively installs solar panels on their rooftops. More than 40 of them have finished installing these panels, and that's double the number last announced in 2021. Sherry Lok finds out how sustainability practices have taken root in some Singapore schools. This is how Itchfield Primary School gets 40% of its energy. Apart from the lights and fans in classrooms, the solar panels also power a hydroponics farm, which is maintained by primary three and four pupils. Here, the children learn what it means to get their hands dirty, to keep the planet clean. Climate education and sustainability has um, definitely shifted significantly over the years um, with a greater sense of urgency now because our students are seeing and feeling for themselves the impacts of climate change and therefore there is definitely a greater focus in engaging our students on sustainability and having them take on a more active role in taking care of our planet. But she's aware that not all of them can bring these practices home. So the school also teaches sustainable living through everyday actions. For these students, that means reducing wastage by finishing their food. Those who do are rewarded with stamps, which can be used to eventually redeem stickers and pins. Over at Bukit Batok Secondary School, students are also making sure no food goes to waste. Leftovers are collected from canteen vendors and placed in a food digester, which converts them into compost and nutrients for the garden. I think they have heightened awareness about um, these environmental uh, events and also um, how their consumption of, of resources have an impact on the environment. We have seen increased rate of recycling in the school. The school has also roped in green leaders to monitor and plan daily activities as well as commemorate events like Earth Day. But the work doesn't stop there. I want to learn more on the future careers in terms of sustainability and how that this green ambassador, this green leader thing can also lead to future careers regarding the environment. I want to learn how to make something that can help clean water, but not just a filtration system, something more complicated, something that's more efficient and effective. So their schools are looking for ways to collaborate with community partners and environmental organizations to give students more chances to grow.